Hello, and welcome to the second half of Biology 1020. My name is Michael Shaw, and I'll be the instructor for this section of the course. You're going to see my, inter my first video starting in a few minutes, but I just want to introduce a series that's going to start each and every one of my lectures called Talking to a Biologist. Here at the University of Manitoba in the Department of Biological Sciences, we are lucky to have over 30 faculty members. You're going to meet 18 of them over the next series of lectures, and they're going to talk to you about their research areas, why they became biologists, what interests them about biology, why they're so passionate about the work that they do here at the University of Manitoba. It's going to provide you an opportunity to meet and find out about the research that goes on here at the University of Manitoba in the Department of Biological Sciences. When you meet those 18 different researchers, you're going to see that here in the Department of Biological Sciences, we do research on everything from the whales of the Arctic to the fisheries off Canada's east, east coast to the uh, growing of uh, plants within the Manitoba ecosystem to the lichens of Manitoba and North America. Just about every aspect of biological sciences is studied here within the Department of Biology. We are very, very lucky compared to other biology departments across Canada in that we have such a wide and diverse group of researchers and you're going to meet them in this series of lectures. The key thing I want to just mention is that we're in a very exciting time. 80 or 20 years ago in the 1980s people would look at ecosystems and they would look at how animals interact in an ecosystem and other people were in labs looking at molecular biology and genetics. We've reached the stage of understanding of molecular biology and genes and how genes control organisms that we're now not just looking at how ecosystems function in this department, we're looking at how the underlying genome of the organisms within those ecosystems control how those ecosystems operate. It is a fascinating and very, very interesting time to be in biology. So I'm going to introduce you over the next 18 lectures to 18 different individuals that are going to talk to you about why they're passionate about biology, what their area of research is, and, and, and how it's important to us here in Manitoba. After you've seen those interviews and you've met those different people through the video, I want you to, if you see them in Tim Hortons or you see them in the bar, or you see them in campus looking for a sandwich, to go up to them and engage with them and say, you know, for example, you're going to meet Dr. Jim Hare. Dr. Jim Hare is passionate about animal behavior and the organism he's currently studying is a Richardson ground squirrel. If you see him around campus, do go up to him and say, hello, Dr. Hare, I saw your uh, segment in the Biology 1020. I'm interested in animal behavior. How can I get involved in your research program? How can I be uh, involved in your lab? Do you need research assistance? All of these people you're going to meet through these series of lectures are interested in meeting students that are interested in biology. Now a lot of you are sitting there and you're saying, well that doesn't, this doesn't really apply to me because I'm on my way to medicine or dentistry or pharmacy or veterinary medicine. Um, even if that is your chosen career, you have this opportunity here at the University of Manitoba as undergraduate students to get passionately involved in the life sciences and it might just change your life. There is such a broad breadth of uh, researchers here at the University of Manitoba that are passionate about biology. I hope you do uh, watch these segments. I hope you find them interesting. I hope you find them engaging. And I hope at the end of the day, uh, you are slightly more interested in the life sciences here at the University of Manitoba and the incredible opportunities that are available for students who are going to go on and do majors in biology. And we have five different very uh, interesting programs or maybe a master's or maybe a PhD and eventually you'll become a professor yourself. All right, so I hope you enjoy these series. They're called Talking to a Biologist. They'll start each and every one of my lectures. The, uh, uh, my regular scheduled lecture will be beginning shortly. Uh, thank you very much for your time and look forward to the next edition of Talking to a Biologist.